Arifa kutoka Taita Taveta. Tukisonga mbele ni kuwa chaguo na mazungumzo ya jinsi mtu angependa kufariki mtazamaji huwa na kasumba fulani kwenye jamii. Na yote anajaribu kupanga maisha yake ya mbeleni hufanyi watambiko. Ila wazo la kupanga maisha yako na jinsi ungependa kuwaga duniani. Iwapo una maradhi ambayo hayana tiba humjia mtu wakati amefika kilele cha kutibiwa na hana budi kupanga safari yake ya mwisho. Ripoto yetu Beldin Waliaula anatueleza jinsi wa muzi huu kufiki wa hospitalini humo nchini wapo mgonjwa haoneshi dalili za kupona. Wasemao husema kuishi ni bahati na kufa ni lazima. Tafakari iwapo una ugonjwa ambao madaktari wameonya kuwa huwezi pona au una muda mfupi wa kuishi duniani na hivyo unafaa uanze kuipanga safari yako ya ahera mapema. Hili ni wazo ambalo wengi wanaogopa kulifikiria lakini lina uwezekano. Pinkini yangu mimi ona nimgeonelea nifanye kudumu sindano kuliko niishi nianze kusumbua watu wapi mashinani. Kulingana na katiba ya Kenya kanuni ya adhabu kifungu cha 63 kipenge cha 225 ni hatia kumsaidia mtu kujitoa uhai. Kifungu cha 26 cha katiba pia kinasema kuwa kila mkenya na haki ya kuishi bila uhai wake kuchukuliwa kwa njia yoyote ambayo haijanakiliwa kwa katiba. Lakini kuna njia tofauti ambazo uhai wa mtu unaweza tolewa akihospitalini kwa njia kama euthanasia. Euthanasia is with consent. The patient will ask to be put to be put to sleep. But there is also passive euthanasia where it can happen because of your omitting to do something. Ingawaje kuna njia ya kupunguza maumivu kwa wale wanaogua magonjwa sugu, Daktari Munyoro anasema kuwa wale wanaotaka kujitoa uhai, wengi wao huwa na matatizo ya kiakili. Lakini kuna wakati mgonjwa ambaye yuko kwenye chumba cha watu mahututi na hana dalili ya kupona, uweza kuchagua kuachiliwa kwenda mbele za haki mapema. If you come to the hospital, we'll give you a form that is known as an advance directive. In that form, you tell us how you want to be treated at the end of life. One of the things you can tell us is that you do not want to be resuscitated. In this country we consider you dead when your heart stops beating. But um, in the near, near future we hope that will change. Kufanya mamuzi kama haya lazima mtu awe na akili timamu na awe na umri wa zaidi ya miaka 18. We just stop giving you treatment which we are convinced is not of any help to you. Yes, but we, we are, um, the law again does not allow you to pull the plug. Ingawa Kenya haina sheria ya kuruhusu kupanga jinsi ya kufariki au kusaidiwa kujiunga na mumba wako, bado wewe binafsi unaweza kupanga jinsi ungependa safari yako ya ehera iwe kulingana na mila na imani yako. Beldin waliaula Kitty News. Na mtazamaji bila shaka uamuzi ambao huwa si rahisi kufanya lakini kibidi basi hamna lengine inabidi hilo lifanyike pale hospitalini.